opening the worst set of Pokemon cards to see if it's really that bad. This is 50 booster packs of Rebel Clash. It's the second set ever released from the Sword and Shield era. And it's ranked as quite possibly one of the worst sets ever made. But is it truly that bad? Can we actually not get anything good out of these packs? Well, there's only one way to find out. All right, so first let's check out some articles that rank the Sword and Shield sets. Article number one, let's scroll down and in the last place spot as the worst set, they have Rebel Clash. It's safe to say that Rebel Clash is a disappointing set. It has fairly uninspired line of standard cards and even less exciting range of ultra rare. That's a pretty bad start. All right, let's try a different article though. Pokemon TCG 2022 end of the year list. So this is from a few months ago. They have in the number one spot, Evolving Skies, number two, Brilliant Stars. Number three, they actually had Chilling Rain, which is interesting. All right, let's keep going through here. All right, Fusion Strike, Astral Radiance. Okay, so this has it third to last. They have Rebel Clash as number 10 spot, then number 11, Sword Shield Base, and then they have Darkness of Blaze as the worst set ranked on here. But if you read this, it says Rebel Clash is largely seen as the worst set of the era, but it's far from it. And it doesn't look like it's that far if you have it down at the bottom. Okay, they don't have it ranked as the worst, but they're saying that it's known as being the worst. I don't know how I feel about that. All right, all right we got another website and the worst set. Oh my god, it even says worst set. So look, I'm not trying to hate on this set at all. I'm actually trying to do the opposite and see if we can get some good stuff out of these packs. But the internet pretty much mainly is saying that Rebel Clash, for the most part, is the worst set from the Sword and Shield era. So we have Sworded Shield Rebel Clash, the second set from the Sword and Shield era. Galarian Pokemon are ready to rock. That's an interesting description for the set. <laughs> they didn't know what else to put, maybe. So it's 2020 on the back. The set's almost three years old. You guys gotta let me know if you agree or disagree with Rebel Clash as being the worst set or your least favorite set, I guess, from this generation of Pokemon cards. Or is it, are there, is it true? Or can you actually get some good stuff out of these? We got a bunch. Let's just see what happens here. Scyther, Volibee, Wingle. First pack is an Aegislash non-holo. I want to see if we can prove the haters wrong. Or not really haters, but just collectors and, you know, critics and whatever. Everybody can have their opinion. I don't care. I just want to see what's in these packs if we get something cool. That Metapod, that's actually kind of cool. I like that a lot. It reminds me of, like, that Yoshi's Yarn game or whatever. It looks like it's made out of yarn or something. Growlithe, Heatmore, and a non-holo. I will say, though, that the Sword and Shield era was off to a rocky start with base set. Um, it definitely had some interesting cards in it, and it actually Sword and Shield base. Most of the list too also was putting base set as like one of the least favorite sets as well. But you know they had to find their bearings and figure out the generation. And then oh, we actually got a hollow. That's actually what do you guys think though? Like this hollow is actually pretty cool. What we're really looking for here is stuff that's better than hollows. We want to see if we get those V cards. Whatever they are, we want to see if we get the full arts. We want to see if we get those rainbows, the gold cards. There's no trainer gallery. They got Skyla in here, though. Growlithe, Lotad. We got Barboach, Vulpix, and a Trevenant. Surely we can get some good pulls from Rebel Clash here. Now, the pull rates are definitely not going to be as good either, uh, just because it's an earlier set. And I'm kind of nervous to know what the next generation of Pokemon cards' pull rates are going to be like. I think everybody's kind of nervous about that. Garbodor, literally getting a, a garbage Pokemon from this set. All right, we got plenty of packs though, so I think the chances of us getting something decent are actually pretty good. I mean, I think we could actually get a bunch of good pulls, but it depends on what you guys think of these. So let's see if we can get our first big pull. We got Trubbish to go with our Garbodor. And, oh, oh, wait a second, wait a second. I think this might be one of the best cards in this set, actually. We got Sonya Full Art as our first big hit. This is really, <laughs> this, this is one of the most expensive cards in the set. It's the second most expensive card in the set. Worth around $28 near mint. The rainbow version though is only worth like 12 bucks though. So people are, I think, starting to like all our cards a little more than rainbows sometimes because you get like the full colors and everything. Rainbow is kind of just like, it's cool, but it's just like a rainbow color. That's crazy. It is true. It looks like, I'm looking at the list. I could show you guys the list of cards, but it does look like Full art trainers are literally the most expensive. And it's Boss's Orders, Giovanni, and Sonya as the most expensive cards. It's kind of wild, but dude, we just pulled the second biggest card from Rebel Clash out of like one of our first packs. That's actually pretty crazy. And then we got a Dragapult VMAX. What's so bad about a Dragapult? All right, so it looks like we're actually getting some pulls here, but if you would like a shot to actually open up some of these packs, I'm gonna be giving away 36 of them to one subscriber here on the channel. So make sure you do the giveaway by number one, smashing the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below in the comment section. All right, low key, I really wanna pull that Giovanni card. That's actually kind of like one of the coolest Giovanni cards I feel like I've ever seen. Um, it's the most expensive. It's interesting how the rainbow versions of these cards are not worth as much as the regular full art version. 
um, for most of the cards in the set, too. Bola B and a wish cap. But in terms of, I guess, value, there's definitely, like, the most expensive card is $31. It's, it's the boss's orders as a near mint card. So, we, yeah, there's not a ton of really expensive cards in the set. And I guess that means that a lot of them aren't super sought after. Unfez. There's some decent gold cards, though, too. There's also the Berserker. There's the Frostmoth, which is kind of cool, I guess. Um, and then mainly just rainbows and, yeah, I guess kind of like random Pokemon. The Rillaboom rainbow is kind of uh, cool as well. Well, let's see if we can get our first secret rare out of here because uh, technically we haven't had one yet. We got a Nugget and a Darmanic. The other thing, too, that I mentioned it earlier, but the, the pull rates are definitely tougher on Rebel Clash, guys. I mean, like, ugh, oh, no, I don't like that. We got the Mime on the front. Get that out of here, actually. Get that out of here. Um... No, so, like, the pull rates are definitely tougher because we don't have the trainer gallery and stuff like that. We don't have random shinies that we can pull out of here or, like, amazing rares or anything. But what's your... What, if you could choose one set from the Sword and Shield era as your least favorite, list it down below. Again, we're not... We're not... We're not hating. We're not hating. We just... There, there has to be a best and, I guess, a least popular set, right? There always is, like, a majority vote for each. But I really think that Rebel Clash... For the most part, I feel like would probably get voted as the worst set. I don't know what you guys think. Skuntank, Sonya, Caterpie, Corsola, Litwick, Rolicoli. Oh, a cop I didn't even realize that this Pokemon was in this set. For some reason, I thought this was like a promo card at one point. So that's point. technically our third pull. Uh, yeah, like our third card that we pulled so far. That was a V card or better. Yeah. I mean, we had a V card, a V Max, and a full art. No secret rares. Rebel Clash. Is it really that bad? We're going to find out. I mean, we got a Luxray. Okay. Now, the thing is, these packs are going for around $5 a booster pack. And the prices have been going up just because it's out of print and it just will get rarer over time. And so, like, the pack prices are still going up. Which is interesting because, yeah, it's definitely tougher to find than all the most recent Sword Shield sets. Just because it's, like, it's definitely one of the oldest. It's the second set release from Sword Shield. It's Almost three years old now. We got Magikarp and a Ninetale. And booster boxes, I think, go for around $200 for the set. Oh, we got a green code card. Okay. Well, we saw that. We might as well just go straight through it then. We got Meowth, Surskit, Magikarp, Meditite, Durant, and the Magmore. All right. So far, the pulls have not been too good at all. I think we've probably opened around 15 booster packs. And, yeah, I mean, it's tough. It's, it's, it's always tough. I, I, that mime is still sitting on the table right here. Uh, it's kind of creepy, just staring at me now. I, I don't like that. Skylar Reverse. All right, that's enough, Mime. Get out of here. All right, two more Rebel Clash on our first stack, and then we're going to move into our second. Oh, I looked at the code card again. I, did, I was like, uh, okay, I was expecting something different. Roly Coley, Voltorb, and an Aegislash. I still think this card's really cool to get. I mean, it's, it's surprisingly the second most valuable card in the set. I don't know. I, always, I don't know. I always pull the, the top trainer cards. Always do. Not two. Apple. And there we go. An apple. Round two. Can we do any better than three pulls? I really hope so. Because it's not looking too good right now. Um, if I could pull one card, I'll take the boss's orders. The regular four, which is the most valuable card in the set. But it's not because of that. It's because it's Giovanni. And it looks cool. And I want it. Outside of that, there's not too much. The full art nine tails, maybe. I keep every time I look at the Greek code card, the full art nine tails would be pretty sick. Um, and then maybe like the Rainbow Rillaboom. Outside of that, <coughs> the set I guess actually isn't too good. Um, okay, but let's see. Let's see. I'm gonna look again. Okay, finally. We actually got a good code card. So this means it's gonna be a holler better. It better be better than a holler, because like we got nothing so far. <laughs> Give me something! There we go! Coverage of V! Full art! And it actually goes perfectly because we got the V, f uh, regular V, and we got the full art. This is random. I feel like this Pokemon has not been in really any sets. At all. But I think there was a collection box at one point released. Maybe that's what I was thinking of when I thought of the promo card. Something like that. All right. So Rebel Clash. We had to do it. We had to get a big opening of Rebel Clash. This is like, I guess, the Steam Siege of Sword, Sword and Shield. X and Y, Steam Siege, was you know known as the worst set. But this would be our Steam Siege for Sword and Shield. And it just... The question now is, will... will um, I can't think of Scarlet. There's too many generations. Scarlet and Violet base. Will that be good? Will the pull rates be good? These are pretty off center. These are pretty off center. Berserker. And then we actually had another pull. We got Dragapult V. Still no secret rares, though, is the thing. 
No secret rares. What do you guys think is going to happen, though? Can we actually get some good stuff? Either way, opening Rebel Clash, if you're trying to get your value back, probably not happening. Probably not happening. Uh, but we'll see. That's three. That's really bad. This was the card that they used for the, um, uh, the calendar, the advent calendar. Okay. Too many mimes in this. The problem with the mime must be a common. Every time. The mime has to be a common. How many? That, that means it's a bad set. If you put a mime as, I don't, I feel like, I feel like a mime is usually at least an uncommon, right? I feel like I have not seen this many mimes in a, in a set in a long time. We pulled like three or four already. Too many. Three or four too many. Butterfree. That's a cool card. Yeah, I mean, I'm looking at the set. You, yeah. I think it might actually be the worst the worst set. I'm sorry. I think it might actually be the worst set. Because, like, even Darkness Ablaze has some pretty solid pulls you could get. Even Sword and Shield Base has more pulls that you can get. That's, that's We got the bat. We have a, we have a Rhyme. Oh, my God. Galarian Mime. This is... The, this is a bad set. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is not a good set right now. <laughs> I think I'm sold already on, on it being, of not, uh, being the worst set. Oh, I'm sorry. If this is a set that you guys like, don't be mad. But I think I got to say, oh my god, there's not much in this set. There's really not much to look for at all. And you're getting hit with mimes left and right. Uh, that kind of like pushed me over the edge a little bit when I started pulling that many mimes. Ooh, that's actually kind of cool. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you can't have that many mimes in a set. That's ridiculous. I'm gonna look. Every time, I swear. <laughs> Every time. Every time. That's ridiculous. How many green code cards can you get? I'm gonna look. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Surely a third time's a charm, right? This is... This set is out to get me. This set is out to get me. This set. Unbelievable. What is this? All right. We'll know if there's a pull in here or not on this next one. I can't keep I can't keep doing that to myself. I can't We're cursed. Yes, this is the cursed shovel. That's perfect. It goes perfectly with how this opening's going. Yeah. There's a graveyard of mimes behind me. I'm sorry. I just can't have that many. That's ridiculous. This whole set is cursed. This whole set is cursed. Unbelievable. Flapple. Dude, yeah, this set's cursed. Wow. This set really is. They're really... Oh, my God. We've had, like, no pulls either. We've had no... Bro, we've had no pulls. Oh, man. Three Vs, a V Max, and two Full Arts. No secret rares. And I think I miscounted. I think I might actually grab 60 packs. This might actually be 60 packs. I think it actually is 60 packs now that I'm counting these. Um, okay, so we're, still, we're doing 60 packs total. So yeah, each stack is 20, I think. My bad. Uh, so we have even more packs, and we're doing even worse than I thought would be. So many hollows. Let me know if you guys have opened this setup, if it's been this bad. Should I look again? Every time! <laughs> this is This set's cursed! What is this set? Oh my god, okay, this is our final stack. Uh, it just seems to be going downhill from here. This might have confirmed- I'ma look, I'ma look! See? See? We're good now, okay. <sighs> this set is actually- Oh. Been so bad. Pulls bad. Cards pulled bad, besides our first pull. A Dragavolt V, we got another one. Actually, no, half of our pulls have been Dragapult, because we had the V Max as well. We had the VMAX as well. Oh my. Trubbish. Trubbish and mimes. Unbelievable. I went into this very optimistic, feeling like we could beat the odds. And I mean, we did get one pull. We did get one good pull. The rest of the stuff I could definitely live without. I could definitely live without the Dragapults. The Copper Jaws I could definitely live without. SQ, it's, you know, it's a cute card. Uh... Ah, this is so bad. Yo, this one. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Yo. Pull rates ridiculously bad. Cards pulled really pretty bad. I mean, I'm sorry. Pretty bad. Mimes everywhere. Two versions of mimes. Nuh-uh, nuh-uh, nuh-uh.
It's this bad? What? I'm so sorry that I made you guys watch this. I feel so... I'm not even gonna look. I feel so bad that I made you guys watch this. Wow. Skyla, there really is not much in here. Of anything. Butterfree Reverse. We got a gold card. We got a gold card on pack probably 50. 50. And it's a freaking wrench. It's double-sided. I'll give it that. But it's a wrench. You were better off keeping that pack sealed. $3.80. Sorry, less than that. Like, yeah, okay. Like $3. Yeah, like $3. Whoa, that's bad. Whew, I'm glad Pokemon... Oh, I'm opening this pack up on the wrong camera. Okay. There we go. Switch back to it. Uh, I'm, I am... I am very glad that Pokemon is not making sets like this anymore because this was not it was a weird time to open up cards it was a weird time to open cards up during this generation i will say that i remember sitting and just opening packs and just not getting like anything and i, I remember the first time i opened sword and shield base booster box it's on the channel probably uh and like just got destroyed and i was like was this supposed to be like this uh, is it supposed to be this low of a pull rate, or did I just get, like, an error box or something went wrong? Nice Ninetales, though. That's probably the coolest V-card that we pulled today. All right, well, I was trying to see if we could prove that this set wasn't as bad as everybody was making it out to be. But, yeah, I don't know if I proved that or not. I think I might have just confirmed it. That's a cool magic card. <laughs> I'm really reaching now. I'm trying to find anything. I'm trying to find the beauty in this. Uh, let's just go straight through this one, see what happens. We got another V, Elder Cross V. Okay, so it was in this set too. Isn't this in, um, this is definitely in another set. Never mind, just making that up. I don't know. Okay, 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 we got better code cards now. Um, I believe these are from the Pokeballs. Those Pokeballs. And so they're not, like, these aren't all from a booster box or something like that. So the pull rates are random right now. Oh, there we go. They also put this version in the, uh, advent calendar. All right. So, I just hope Pokemon doesn't backtrack and go back to, like... Because a lot of times with base sets of Generations, I feel like they're not that great. Like, base set Sword and Shield, base set Sun and Moon, you know, they're just eh. Base X and Y is pretty solid, but the pull rates are really tough. So, it's, t it's tough. Darmanitude. I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope. I don't think it will happen, but it might. <laughs> I'm scared. I hope Pokemon doesn't backtrack and just start doing, like, bad pull rates again, starting off with, like, base and having to work our way back up to better sets again. I feel like they're on a roll right now. Like, some of the best modern sets of all time have been released over the last year. Toxtricity V. So, yeah, that's my hope is that we don't backtrack. Wow, we're actually <laughs> we're getting green-white code cards all of a sudden. I hope they don't. We actually got the most pulls, I think, out of this last stack. Although, that first big pull, Full Art Sonya, I think that's definitely 100% the best pull. Can we beat that? Can we get the Giovanni? Inteleon VMAX. So let's hope Pokemon picks up where they left off and doesn't drop the ball. We don't need another Rebel Clash. All right. Durant. I've, I've probably thrown, like, 10 mimes by now. All right. Three more. Three more. Let's see if we can end it with a full art Giovanni. Only one secret rare. A couple full arts, a couple VMAXs, a bunch of Vs, and a ton of hollows was pretty much what we got here. So what do you think of Rebel Clash? Would you open it? Would you avoid it? Do you think it actually is the worst set from the Sword and Shield era? Or do you think there's sets that are worse than that? Or do you like the set? I'm very curious. I'd like to see your guys' opinions in the comments section, as always. It's definitely not the best set, I will say that. I don't even want to look at that last code card. Oh, okay, we're good. We can maybe get one more. Maybe one more. Come on. Let's see what we can do on this last pack. All right, Dan. We have Trubbish, Impidimp, and a Luxray Hollow. All right, guys, that is going to do it. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.